Living poison this is poisoning us every day and we aren't even aware of it. Before we start with this video I would like to ask you a simple question do you use fabric softener? Well if your answer is yes then you will be very disappointed because you will find out that you pay a high price for a nice smelling clothes. We all know that the fabric softener ads often portray an image of comfort freshness and sweetness. But the real and ugly truth is that most fabric softeners contain a long list of known toxins and chemicals, which can enter your body through the skin and by inhalation causing a wide range of health problems particularly for young children. The fabric softeners are made up of pernicious chemicals combined with a hefty dose of fragrance. The fragrance chemicals are particularly difficult to remove because they have been designed to cling dearly to fabric so the signature scent stays in the clothing. This is called fragrance substantivity, which describes how long a fragrance lasts on a particular surface and how it is affected by temperature, humidity, and other conditions. These are the most common toxic chemicals found in all fabric softeners. Alphaterpineol This is a dangerous toxic chemical which can cause many health problems such as, dizziness, headaches, hunger, memory loss, numbness in face, pain in neck and spine. Benzyl acetate, is a toxic substance and this substance has been linked to pancreatic cancer. Its vapors can be irritating to eyes and respiratory passages and it can also be absorbed through the skin. Benzyl alcohol, benzyl alcohol can cause many health problems such as, central nervous system disorders, headache, nausea, vomiting, dizziness and dramatic drops in blood pressure. Chloroform, chloroform is a powerful carcinogenic neurotoxin and it may cause many health problems such as, loss of consciousness, nausea, headache, vomiting, and or dizziness, drowsiness. Linalool, linalool is a narcotic known to cause respiratory problems and it causes the so-called loss of muscle coordination. This is why you should avoid fabric softeners and use natural alternatives instead which are much safer and more effective. We really hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.